What's going on guys, Nico here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to write catchy melodies like Avicii, Kaigo, Sagala, Jonas Blue, and the rest of the greats. Watch from start to finish. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss out on this. Here is the melody we are breaking down in this video. Before we jump in, wanna let you know I'm giving away a thousand melodies royalty free, comment down below, Melody Mastery, I select one winner every Friday. Now let's break down this melody and the way I like to do things is first starting off with the melody starter. If you don't know what that means, keep watching, it'll make sense in a second. When I look at my piano here where I start creating melodies, the first thing I like to do is understand what key I'm in. Now there's 12 different notes on the piano and these repeat over and over again and each note has a specific key. So the key of C major, that, no, that key has seven notes that I can use. And I've transposed this so it's only on the white keys to keep it very simple. Now, this melody has eight measures. You can see right here, one, two, three, four, and it repeats again. Whenever we're creating melodies, I like to break it down super simple by looking at the numbers on the keyboard and seeing these sequences repeat over and over again. Now, when I wrote this melody, I thought about, well, what do the, some of the greats do, right? Now, the one melody starter is the five, six, one, and you're gonna hear it right here, and you'll see it on the piano. Right here, five, six, one. Now, if you go back and look at Avicii's music, this five, six, one's actually been taken historically from a lot of other songs as well before that. And then Kygo came along, five, six, one. Jonas Blue, Mike Williams, a lot of EDM, rock, uh, even hip hop, rap, every genre, five, six, one's very common. So I play this on the piano a couple of times and I start getting comfortable with it, right? So when I look at this melody starter, the five, six, one is a predominantly very common one here. Now, even if I look right here later on, five, six, one, and then five, six, one. Now, the second thing I wanna mention whenever you're trying to write a catchy type song, there are normally five notes that you're gonna be using. The one, two, three, those five notes, the one, two, three, five, and six. So whenever you're creating melodies, play around with those five notes on your keyboard right here, and you may come up with something. Right, so that's the second thing I just wanted to cover in terms of like melody starter. And the last thing I wanna cover in terms of melody starters is looking at the last notes right here. Now, these are gonna come up on the screen. Look what I'm doing here. So basically I'm taking these notes I told you, the one, two, three, five, and six. And I'm kind of doing a little bit triplet thing as I go down the piano. Now I, I kind of came up with this, maybe there's some other others that do it, but in, whenever I play the piano, I love doing these things right here. And I basically added this melody starter into my melody right here to make it full. Now that you guys have some idea of the melody stars behind it, let's look at the composition behind this now. So when I break down composition of melodies, the way I like to do it is look measure by measure and see what changes. And I notate this by having A, B, C, and D. Now, if the measures are a little bit different, I'll say A1 or A2. And if it's a lot different, then I'll just change the letter behind it. So that's how I do it. Now, looking in here, I've broken it down and you'll see it on the screen. I've labeled this one A1, A2, A1, and then B. Now, let's listen to see how I classified this. So rhythmically, these first three measures are pretty similar. Ignoring this thing down here, this da 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 measure 89 here and 91 are the same. So I'll call this A1. And the only difference here in measure 90 is I went up a little bit higher to change it up. Now, whenever we're writing melodies, guys, it's very important to understand that your listener wants to hear the same thing, but they still like to spice things up. And that's why this melody is so great. It's a little bit more complicated than the ones I've shown on this channel. Now we're gonna keep going through. Right, so this one, I just classify it as B because this is a lot different. The variation, if you notice the directional movement, normally it's starting here and it's going up and it's going up. This one starts up and it goes back down. Now, going into measure 93, the second part of this. Again, I label this A1 and I label this one A1. Now these things right here, 94, 96, they're different. I call this C and I call it B because we haven't really heard stuff like this before. So 
So going back here, that's how I classified it. And if you'll notice, I'm just introducing new concepts that I'm gonna break down right now. So three tricks in this melody that I am doing. The first one is octave jumping. So let me zoom in right here and show you guys what that means. So I basically taken this melodic sequence, G, A, C, and I just repeat it again right after this one up an octave. It's a very easy trick that you can do to spice it up and just really catch your listener off guard. Okay, next trick. I'm going fast through these because I want you guys to get all the value. These quick little grace notes right here. Avicii loves doing this. It's the quick tran. See, right here, it's literally right before the note. Quick grace note. And the last tip I wanna show you guys is using the law of three. So a lot of the great artists, they use three notes whenever they're making their smaller sequences and they're doing the same direction behind it. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you notice here, I have three notes that always go down in my melodies. Right here. Now the power of three notes for some reason is just sounds good. There's something about having three notes that go in the same direction. And as I repeat this directional pattern right here going down, it's a trick. Now, this is a little bit more advanced. So if you don't understand this one, all good. If you've watched so far in this video, you've definitely gotten some new tricks out of it. And again, this same sequence actually happens right here when I go and see the three notes of the five, six, one. I have these notes repeating in the same direction. So you take three different notes whenever you're writing a melody, you take those notes, you follow a direction, then you take three more notes and follow a direction. It can be the same three notes like we have here, or it can be different notes like we have here. Now, the last thing I didn't actually cover was that you need a really good chord progression to follow our melody here. So when I play this melody bus right here and I follow our chord progression right here, and let's listen to this all together now. And the one thing I have to do real quick is let me just transpose this back up because this is actually not in the key of C major, A minor. So I gotta drag this, take it up one and then this will sound good now. Now, where is this chord progression coming from? I don't think I have enough time in this video to break it down exactly. I do have other videos on EDM chord rhythms and patterns. The chord progression that is being used here though is, if we break it down in the key of C, a G major, A minor, F, and C. And I'll put the Roman numeral notation. You guys can get the free chord packs down below to get these. This is the chord pattern used. It was used in the song, Don't You Worry Child by Swedish House Mafia. It's used in a lot of happy, vibey songs that have some emotional impact in them. Now, what I'm gonna do in the future, guys, is I wanna break down this whole project. I think I'm gonna make it from scratch, honestly. I think that'd be a great video, and it may be like an hour long or something like that, but let me know in the comments if you guys want that. There's a lot of good stuff in this project that I could be going over, but that is all for this video. Again, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, comment, help me with this Facebook algorithm so more people can learn how to write melodies and take advantage. Again, comment down below Melody Mastery if you wanna take advantage of getting literally a thousand melodies like this one, you know, maybe they aren't all as good as this one. This is a really good one, uh, royalty free. Again, this is to help you guys out. Uh, comment Melody Mastery. Let me know what you want else to learn. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.